December 16, St. Adelaide. At the age of 16, this Burgundian princess was married to King Lothar. Three years later, her husband died, and the ruler, who is believed to have poisoned him, tried to get Adelaide to be his wife. She absolutely refused. In anger, he treated her with great cruelty and locked her up in a castle on a lake. Adelaide was saved when King Otto the Great of Germany conquered this ruler. Although she was twenty years younger than he, Otto married the lovely Adelaide on Christmas Day. When he took his new queen home, the German people loved her at once. She was as gentle and gracious as she was pretty. God sent five children to the royal couple, and they lived happily for twenty-two years. When Otto died, Adelaide's oldest son became the ruler. This son, Otto II, was good, but too quick to act without thinking. So it happened that he turned against his own mother, and she left the palace. In her great sorrow, she appealed to the abbot St. Margulis, and he made Otto feel sorry for what he had done. Adelaide met her son in Italy, and the king begged her forgiveness on his knees. She, in turn, prayed for her son, sending offerings to the great shrine of St. Martin of Tours. In her old age, St. Adelaide was called on to rule the country while her grandson was still a child. She founded many monasteries and convents and worked to convert the Slavs. All her life, this saintly empress had obeyed the advice of holy men and had ever been willing to forgive those who had hurt her. Saint Odillo of Cluny called her a marvel of beauty and grace. In his goodness, God gives us all some things to suffer here on earth. If we accept them with patience, he will reward us later with a beautiful place in heaven.